Hey guys, Brett here. Welcome back to Gold Rush the Game. Here we are for our episode number nine of our Let's Play series. Now, I will apologize to you guys. Um, the length between episode eight and episode number nine, unfortunately, I got the low rider bug, which some of you may know what it is, some may not, but pretty much this truck was sitting on its guts. Couldn't move it backwards, forwards, left, right, anything, and so was the loader and both of my diggers. So, unfortunately, I couldn't move any equipment anywhere. Um, so I had to wait for the new update to continue on with the Let's Play series without having to start all over again. But unfortunately, before that, I did have to start all over again because the save games became corrupt as well. So I've encountered two bugs, which I have reported, which seem to be fixed at the moment. So when we get back to the claim, everything will be different. Um, pretty much got our, both our diggers there, still our loader, our truck, um, tier three set up. But as I said, new update, which has brought about the dump truck so the dump trucks finally here so we're gonna buy only one dump truck um, come over here and we've got the dump truck um, belt container 15,000 we'll buy that as well and we've got the dump truck conveyor belt or the conveyor belt it's called so pretty much the dump truck will dump into this container here the belt container it'll feed through into the conveyor belt that'll feed into the wash plant so I will buy this to 83,000. We just had enough money, luckily. Um, we're going to get all this to the old Arnold parcel. Confirm. Everything should be there. So, this is going to be a short, sweet intro. What I'll do is I will head back to the claim. I'll get all this set up. It will come back at the start of day 12 and we'll start mining from there. I'm not going to I'm not going to show you guys setting this up. I'll probably do that in the let's uh, not a let's play, but a tutorial series later on how to um, obviously pick up the dump truck and these two things and get them attached to your tier 3 stuff. I'll do that later on, so I don't need to show you guys that, but we'll come back once it's all set up, day 12 and we'll start um, driving our dump truck. So we'll be back very very soon. Right there, guys, we're back. Got everything set up. Everything's t turned on, ready to run. Got our truck set up here too. Um, I'll just show you quickly what I did. I set up the little mobile wash plant here somewhere and just started digging all this out. And moved the wash plant over here and just started digging all this out. And then I started loading um, the tier 3 wash plant with the loader. So just coming straight in through here and just loading as much as I could. So that way we could get down to bedrock or I don't know, I guess in case you call it bedrock if you can't dig it up anymore. Um and not have any rough spots up through here like we had before. So pretty much what I want to do now is just dig back this way and try and square this up a little bit and then sort of just dig maybe down this way. But this episode we'll just start focusing on loading the wash plant. Um, should already have a full bucket of dirt ready for the truck. So I'll have to make sure that we're in the right spot. Get me controls ready again because I've forgotten what buttons are what. Not sure exactly how many buckets we're going to get in this tr in the dump truck. So I haven't used it yet. So you guys have seen me the first time I've actually used it. Hopefully it's going to make a massive difference loading this wash plant a lot faster than what it has been in the past with that loader. It's very painfully slow with that loader. So that's three full buckets now. It's going to take a lot, I think a lot of dirt to fill it up. Four full buckets. Still probably only halfway I think. So five buckets in. It's going to be bucket number six. I think that all went in the right spot. Hopefully I wasn't missing it. I'll try and just take this little lip off there. There we go. That 
was all definitely going in that time. So bucket number seven, I think we're up to now. So I don't think it's quite full enough. Bucket number eight. I think we're quite going to clean this area up as nice as I'd like, because so I have to do that off camera. Maybe even with a little digger come back and just tidy it all up. So bucket number nine. I'll quickly jump out and um, check where that got really loud all of a sudden. So you should see 100% yeah, on down the bottom left right hand corner. So I think we've missed a little bit here, or that's just overflowing from overfilled, I should say. And there's a little bit on that side too, so hopefully that's not going to happen too often. Um, I was thinking about bringing the truck in down here, but I think it's probably a little bit too high to get him down into there. Anyway, right, we'll start our truck up. We're full load now. So we'll head straight up, and you can see the conveyor belt set up there. That little dumping area is set up, ready to go as well. I no, just need to, there's no inside cameras. So just back straight in. Close as we can. And I think it's R, it's to tip us up. Not sure if you can overfill it. It probably could, I suppose. So R's to go up, F's to go back down. That's one full load in. So we'll head back down and grab some more dirt. I'll just go up past it, digger, chuck a Yui in, head back down. It's probably the easiest way to do it. Try and line up between our two piles again. Somewhere about there, I think, is where we had it. Bet there will do. Shut that down. Head on over, jump back in the digger. The camera's moved again, unfortunately. So we'll start digging, so it should be around about 10 buckets. That's if we get it all in the right spot. So I'm not sure if we'll miss it then. I don't think we were, but. a little bit easier to have the truck sort of facing the other way so you've got a bigger area so you know you're not going to miss. So the update did take a while, it got delayed, it was supposed to be out um, before the weekend um, and if it was I would have punched out a fair few videos but unfortunately it wasn't and they delayed it because the truck wasn't quite ready yet um, and they were still having issues with people save games and stuff so they, they held the update back a little bit which is a good thing a lot of people did complain about it and whinge about it as people do but um, I think it was good for them just to make sure like, there's nothing worse than you know you're gonna start a game and you're gonna lose your save just because you know they've rushed an update so it was good to have them hold it back and for valid reasons of course like I didn't want to you know pump out you know a couple of hours driving the dump truck and filling up the wash plant and all that sort of stuff and then have that save game fail and have to start all over again so I'm glad they've they've worked on that worked on the save games and stuff so it's good to see I think I'll lose a little bit of pay dirt then, but just trying to smooth that out a little bit. We're gonna to have to move the digger back a little bit soon, I think. So yeah, the update didn't come out um, when everybody had hoped, but as I said, they'd done it for valid reasons, so. Whilst it was a little bit frustrating 
for me and the other guys waiting for it, it it's a good thing. You know, you can't just always expect things to be done um, and pushed out and rushed and have more issues come from it. So I'll give them all the credit they deserve for making sure things are where they should be before they go releasing things no matter how much people cry you know they've I still think they've done the right thing hopefully this will be the last bucket and he should be full again he's probably even full now I think I'm not 100% sure not quite so he probably is now Try and just grab a little bit more of this. Come on. It's very touchy in there. There you go. Actually, you might have to swing him all the way around just leave the bucket in the air. Even though it's not safe, but if I leave it the other way, I'm probably going to fall down on the ground. So we're going to have to move back pretty soon and... I'm not sure we're going to do about these piles of dirt and stuff here. I need to try and minimise putting it as much on the ground as we can. So I was thinking going down into here would be a lot better. Right, so another 100% load. See the rocks sitting on top, they're probably going to roll off before we get up there. So all that gold has gone through, or the pay dirt I should say, has gone through the wash plant. So what I'll do is I'll stick this in and then we'll have a look and see how the process actually works. From start to finish. So I'll tip that in. It does get really noisy. I might um, grab a quick screenshot while we're there. So we'll see the truck tips the pay dirt into here. Um, you'll see it getting fed into like the conveyor belt. It's getting fed with the dirt. It's picking it up and throwing it into there. Not sure if we can nah, jump on top. So yeah, the convey belt's throwing it in through to here. You can see the big rocks are probably going to get thrown down to here, which there hasn't been any yet. But all the excess rocks we don't need are getting thrown down here. And I think for some reason that's still filling up, which I've noticed before. But anyway, then. The smaller stuff's going down here through the trommel, coming down through here and filling up our mats, which are at 10%. And our duplex jig is doing a thing as well and getting 6 and 4%. Now the duplex jig, the gold out of this, once you separate it in the magnetite separator, the gold out of that is worth a lot more than the gold out of these mats for some reason, or you get a lot more out of it. I'm not sure why, but this is <laughs> really weird to be honest pay dirt peaks but anyway we'll jump back in our truck and go back down and grab another load might actually drive down into here and just test it out I think it's going to be way too high Um, and you will also notice that the truck's got a lot more power, so those little things on the ground that people are getting stuck on, you won't get stuck on it as easy with the truck, so... Oops, I thought that actually filled the truck up then. For some, for some reason we're at 3%. So I might back the truck, say, into, uh, into here somewhere. I'll just leave it running for now, might as well. See if we can well jump out with that rocket in through through to the sky. So these little bits here won't actually get the truck stuck because it's got independent suspension on it, so it's a good thing. We'll jump back in to dig it out. So I'll bring it down. We should be able to unload this a lot easier now straight back down the 
We have to be very careful that we don't dig underneath the excavator. Might lift the arm up and I might actually move us back a little bit. There you go, swing us back around. It's not a full bucket. Should still be in a half decent spot to load it, so it's not too bad. Should be able to get decent sized buckets in there now. So a little bit easier as well because we're not having to load to the side, we've sort of got a little bit more area to aim at. So we'll see a little bit of a glitch there. You can see the bottom of the world. So I prefer not to dig as deep. Um, I probably didn't really realise how deep I was actually going and how high the face was. Um, I think that might be full actually, how high the face was in there. Like obviously I'd like to halve that at least. It's probably way too high. I think probably just where the that line is along there, I'd like to just dig it back to there and then have a ramp to go up. But we didn't do that, so... Well, it's only 93%. Let's see if we can back back and pick up that extra 100%. Oh, got us 96. It's not getting this anymore. Doesn't really matter. It's close enough. You can see, yeah, the, the, it's just way too high, that face, but we can work around it. So you see the truck's not too bad. It's pulling up out of the hill nicely. You could have a little bit more power in it, but it has got a heavy load of pay dirt on. So once again, it back straight back into the center of it. Back, back till we hit it. Park brake on and then tip her off. You'll see it load up, then you'll see the pay dirt start getting picked up and thrown into the shaker. I think that's probably the best way for us to actually load it, but it's just... Yeah, it's one of those things. I think I might... Um, hate these things. Might just sort of go up here and chuck a Yui and then sort of try and load it from a different angle. Load it from up above again but Not way too close now. Stick the truck here somewhere. Let's try and load it from here. Try and work out where the best way is going to be for us to actually load. It's a bit of a bug too. There, the wheels off the ground. They're still rolling forward, but so continue to dig down. all the way up and over. I'm not sure if we're too far away. Yep, we are a little bit too far away. So jump in the truck and bring it a little bit closer. Try and get the center of the teeth, center of the, the tray. Probably be the way to go. 
that there or do shut it down instead of wasting fuel so continue to dig down as far as we can and just sort of straighten this out so I'd like to probably only dig to maybe this height not dig quite as deep unload a little bit too quick then so come down and just sort of dig in here Another full bucket. Try not to lose any this time. So you can see up the top our money's going down um, and our gold's going up. So I've got some hide workers working on the um, hog pans. So we've got the, the one connected up, the one hog pan connected, which the water pump one, which we've got someone working at. And I think we've got the hog pan with no pump as well which someone's working even though it's not fully connected but they must still make money off it somehow so our gold's going up, money's going down so yeah, I think, I'm thinking this is probably going to be the way to go dig like this a little bit and then I'll turn to the side and dig up and down sort of thing have to move back a little bit now Actually, I want to make sure we're getting square as well so it's a bit annoying that the cameras always move all the time but Trying to get the coordination down with the with all the buttons and everything. then that should all be going in the truck I hope we probably are a little bit too close to the truck at the moment but Looks like we're missing a little bit. Around that side, it's not too bad, I suppose. 100%, that could be why. So, start him up and off we go. So, this might be the last bucket. So, this will be our third truck. Is it third truck load? I think it's our third truck load. So, we'll see how much. Um, how much percentage we actually get out of it in the mats once it's finished processing and stuff we'll tip all that in not 
sure it won't. I wasn't sure if it'll let us lower it down with um turning the truck off, but it hasn't, so So we'll shut the truck down. Do a big jump off the side again. So I'm not too sure Yeah, what we're really gonna do here with obviously we need to sort of level out like say this height somewhere, so Um, I'd have to buy a dozer, of course, and try and level it out a little bit. Because the truck can get up and down through here, which is fine. So I want to try and square this up a little bit, and then work our way back across through to this end. Um, and then maybe just work down this way, and then back up, and try and sort it out so it's a little bit... Looks a little bit more like uh, an actual mine site or a dig site, whereas this just doesn't look like a dig site at all at the moment. So, so wow, we've got 26% already. So I'm not sure how much we're going to get out of each truckload, but that's filling up a lot quicker than it has um, with the loader. So, let's see, is it still still processing? I think. So what I'll do while we're waiting for that, um, I'm going to grab this loader and just sort of empty this pile a little bit that's sitting underneath the um, overflow area. Because you'll see, once we get over there, um, you'll see that pile, how it's sort of flat on top. That's pretty much meaning that it's hit the, the height limit for pay dirt. So if we bring this in, it'll be a funny angle to bring it in, but bring it in this way anyway. Try and lift it up. Should be full, so we can. Obviously that must be just pay dirt that isn't getting processed properly. So we'll bring it up and chuck it in. We should still be able to load it while that's in the way, I'm hoping. Like a conveyor belt. Otherwise, oh, if the truck wasn't in the way, you could probably just load it straight into the conveyor belt area, I suppose. So we'll head back down and I'll have to lift that up a little bit, it's too low. Try and go through and level it out as much as we can. Try and lift the bucket up so we can get it back down again and try and grab a little bit more. Sort of not picking it up very cleanly, but the other thing we could do is probably leave the little excavator. Oops, I was meant to press E then. Leave the little excavator over here and have it load all this excess stuff into the um, dump truck. You can see there, now it's not flat on top, so it'll start to fill up again in that area. So we'll come on up and chuck this last bucket in. Just get the loader out of the way as well. Might park it down over here out of the way. So there we go. It's over there out of the way. The truck is still sitting here, but we'll um, have a look and make sure. Hopper's empty. The conveyor's empty. So quickly run through to our power box here and hit the 
I think it's the engine stop. Probably more like an emergency stop button, but hit that. So it's all been processed. We'll run down and have a look to show you how much is still left in there. So 30%. So I think that was three truckloads. Um, no, four truckloads, I think. We loaded two here, didn't we? One down here and one up there. So four truckloads has given us 30%. So, you know, it's pretty good. It's a lot quicker than it is using the loader. And it's a lot more fun, to be honest. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of the dump truck, if you've got it yet, or what you thought of the episode. Um, and let me know what you want to see next. Would you like me to continue to show you which way I'm going to dig and um, all that sort of stuff? The next thing that I want to buy is definitely the dozer, because I need to come through and tidy all this stuff up. Um, and get a level to dig properly so tidy all this up with a dozer and that so do you want to see more loading the truck dump truck and tipping it in you want to see dozer work um, you know you guys let me know or would you like me to maybe take this mobile wash plant and head to another claim somewhere and um, maybe take the little digger over there as well and head to another claim you know you guys leave it in the comments make sure you leave a comment let me know what you want to see so I can you know ensure that I'm doing the right thing for you guys and keeping you guys happy as I said, hopefully you enjoyed it. It's been Brito's Gaming. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.